How you doing? Our greenhouse. We've been jamming and framing on this. It's uh, turning out pretty good. 16 by 20. This is a temporary greenhouse. Uh, I'm going to get into what I'm thinking and I'm going to share it with you. Okay. Nothing like rough cut lumber for me. I, uh, things like this, I love using it. I mean, you haven't got to know this inch and a half by five and a half for a two by six. You know, it's two by six. This is a nice little two by four. My logger buddy there, uh, got a sawmill and he hooked me up. He did me a solid. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, the one thing you can't do, you can't do the work as fast as you want to if you don't have the tools. This saw here is a wonderful uh, compound miter, and it'll cut right through this 2x4 endways, believe it or not. And I was really impressed with that. But, uh, and another thing that helps me out, because, you know, you get arthritis in your old age, these old pass load nailers. I've had this nailer 15 years, anyway, 16 years, same nailer. And uh, I've put it through its paces. I had buy, I bought every year I buy a battery. But there's nothing like being cordless for these nailers. Boy, they'll drive, they'll drive a nail. They really will. Um, we're doing boxes down each side and then one in the center. And when we go inside, I'll show you what I'm thinking. Now, if you notice, we're doing OSB on the bottom half. Like I said, this is temporary. We're getting our feet wet to see if we like doing this and if it works for us. And we're going to, like normal, I'm probably going to have to learn how everything not to do uh, first so that I know what to do next year. Um, we're just putting six mil plastic on this. We don't expect that plastic to go through the winter unless we get creative. And we don't care because it was quite reasonable. But if this works out, we'll do the clear poly uh, uh, roofing sheets that go, you know, uh, like it fits in with the tin. You see it barns, and that'll work nice if we can get a deal. You gotta have a deal. Now, we have horses and everything, you know that. We compost our manure and our hay that, you know, horses have waste hay, you know, bedding hay. And we compost that. We line the piles, put a tarp over them. It's generally two years. We got one special pile we've saved for something like this. It's, uh, it's a nice big pile. It's the best dirt you ever seen. And here it is right here. That, I'm sorry, that's garden dirt. That's what we're going to be putting in our, uh, in our uh, boxes. Okay, we might just well go right inside. And I'll show you some of what we're going to do. Okay. Boy, that's nice and soft right there. We're going to have all the way down this wall, in the back wall, and right up the other side wall, 36 inch deep uh, boxes, uh, mostly tomatoes. They'll probably be about that height, so they come out to about right there. Like I said, 16 foot wide. So, that will be kind of nice. I'm thinking about two and a half feet high, maybe. Maybe three, close to three. Okay, by making them three foot and three foot for 20 foot long, that's, that's quite a little bit. Uh, and then you're going to have three foot across the back. You know, it'll be just a big L. Okay, in the center... We're going to start from about four foot and uh, put a uh, bench in all the way to the other end. We'll tie it in just to gain, but I got some ideas about this. Uh, so that will give us approximately three feet, just a little less in between. Um, if I don't, once I get the outside ones in, if I don't like that center one being four foot, I'll narrow that up. I want to be able to get through, but... 
I'm not going to have a walk around on that. It's going to tee right in. The walk around is going to be on this end. So I, I'm kind of happy with that. We might actually put the main door over just to the right of center. Now, what we did with the walls, we put them on four foot centers. It's holding plastic during the summertime. All it's got to do is just about hold that plastic, and that's all I want. I'm, I'm trying to come in at a fixed cost. I think I have the fixed cost to get this size right here. Uh, the, the rafters I put at 36 inch centers. Okay? And I'll tell you what I'm thinking. You know we can put that plastic on that roof tighter than heck. The minute that sun hits that, that's going to drape. I'm going to go ahead and let it. Uh, we're going to use furring strips on top of the plastic on the rafters and then on the walls. We'll use furring strips. Um, I have plans. Now, this way's west or east, that way's west. We get a wind from the west. That's where most of our wind comes from. It comes right down this Boar Valley and it gets going. Now, something that I have learned is you do have to vent these if they're too hot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make boxes that I can open and on each end. Now, when it's closed up, what I'm going to use is just a pair of box fans. I'm not getting this as poor man's skid row. How the heck can I build a greenhouse budget here? Now, when I tell you the figure, you're just not going to believe it. It's, uh, I'd like to say it was free. Nothing in this world's free, people. Not for me, anyway. Anything I ever get for free costs me a lot of money down the road. I don't know why that is. But the lumber for this 16 by 20, if I would have had to pay for it, I give him a little. It, uh, he's, he, like I said, we work back and forth, so I get a deal. Uh, that roll of plastic. We got six mil plastic put on it. Uh, I believe that roll was uh, like sixty dollars. Going was that what it was? Yeah, around For, sixty, eighty, sixty. Sixty. Okay, we got it. It was sixty dollars worth of six mil. We got that at Lowe's. Uh, I get a military discount, ten percent off. But that means two percent. You don't pay no tax here in New York State. So that was sixty. Okay. I've got this coming in without the benches, right about $450, okay? This is what it would have been if I would have went and paid. That's at $0.45 cents and uh, a, a foot for lumber, you know? So it's like two two $2.19 for an 18 or 8 foot 2 by 4 And we used 8 foot stringers. Uh, we did use some 14 foot in the ceiling uh, for a center pole. Uh, this is not what I would call something for a playhouse or, or strength for lasting for years. This is not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this closed in, get some boxes done. Now, so that brings you in about, you know, uh, probably around $500 with the plastic. Uh, we're probably going to burn, I'm going to say, $30 worth of nail through the gun. Uh, just just guessing through the pass load. So, you know, here at 530. Now, I'm actually using old lumber miscuts to build my boxes. Okay? That's darn near nothing. Any sawmill's got miscuts. They got boards out back to split, crack, anything else. You'll see me build them miscuts uh, and they'll turn out great what I haven't figured out is the easiest way to get dirt into these boxes I'm working it out uh, I got my old farm all tractor with a bucket on it it's old trip bucket it's a 47 farm all H it does have the white front end somebody put it under it yeah so I can get it right here. And I believe 
that bucket will go right where my man door comes, and I can dump it right here inside. Okay? Now, we're going to set up for the next shot here, and I'm going to show you something. This small tractor, this is going to move my dirt to the greenhouse. It, uh, this old girl runs so good. Just the way you see it, I don't know how long I've had this, 12 years, 14 years. I've had it quite a long time. Uh, when I got this, it looked like a brand new tractor. Of course, they use tractor paint you buy at a tractor store, uh, the cheap stuff, so they fade. And the fellow put Super H emblems on it. It is not a Super H. They never had one that early as, as this one. But I'll tell you what it did have. It had to have brand new tires all the way around. I got it, and the motor's brand new, new clutch, everything into it. I've never done anything but replace the coil and the battery and the points. That's all I've ever had to do to this. Okay, we're going back inside. All right. These little peaches here, these are uh, Alberta peach trees. They're starting to, they're budding good. They're starting to get leaves out. Uh, this pair of little trees... They produce, I'm going to say, probably around four bushel, five bushel of peaches each every year. Uh, they're unbelievable. This next year, I'm going to have to top them and prune them. Uh, but I let them go a few years before I do that. Let them stabilize. Everybody know I don't need them to produce more, so I don't need the, the peach will break easy. You can make these produce a lot of peaches, but that's plenty for us. You know, we always uh, give peaches away to everybody. And old Jack, the donkey's up there looking over the peach. I had to laugh at him. He's funny. And uh, so, okay, we're going to go back inside here. Okay, being a harebrained kind of guy, and don't know nothing about greenhouses other than what I Googled and i never seen anybody build one out of this on so far on uh, uh, YouTube, but uh, let's be a first. I don't care for a 50th. I need this little greenhouse to work. And I'll tell you what the biggest motivating factor is. I know this is going to be a real cool May, and it may be a cool summer. But it's going to be wet. That means we won't get tomatoes. We'll have blight instead. I'm controlling my situation. We got right down to about 20 quarts of tomatoes is all. And there's many things that uh, grow better in the greenhouse. And we're learning. We're learning. Uh, I'm sure a bunch of you know more about greenhouses than us. Give us tips, man. Share share your knowledge. What worked for you? We're in the Northeast where it's cold. So uh, upstate New York, western New York to be exact. Uh, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now we know we're coming out about that far. Okay, and we know we're going to come up about that far with a table. So you're going to have to make the plants. Why can't I run some 12 or 10 inch boxes along these walls? This is north, that's south. So our sun is hitting that wall all the time. Well, it will go through all of these. But why can't I run window boxes to plant like beets and things like that? And uh, where we got the cripples here on the end, I'll move this. I want to put a cable right across down through here. I'll tell you why I want to do that. Barbara wants hanging uh, uh, plants. We use a tiny little cable clamp so that they all stay. We can support them from the ceiling. I seen something where a guy was hanging his cucumbers. I want to do a bunch of pickled cucumbers. I thought I'd try just a couple in here on one of these walls, maybe in a corner or something, and just see how they really did when you let them just drape. Uh, if it don't work, I know I grow them in the garden. We'll have it. It looks like we're going to plant about 10 pounds of red uh, Pontiac for early summer potatoes. They're already eyeing 
hopefully here very very quick I can get them in the ground but I'm not planting my whites my Kennebecs until the first of June I want them to be a fall crop for winter potatoes and we're probably doing right around 40 pounds of them we might do 50 let's just see what happens uh, we're doing a bunch of sweet corn I want I want to try in here a little hand and a, a few vegetables I think will work like head lettuce I want to try a little bit of head lettuce in here uh, there's a bunch of stuff I know people do one experiment we're gonna do broccoli in here now what's nice is I'm shorter like broccoli I think 70 day or something like that you can plant twice now I'm sorry but if broccoli works in here that would be wonderful um, what I'm gonna do for a watering system is we have a hydrant up in the pasture I can hook a hose to that I want a dedicated water line in here that I can hook to and uh, just walk around and water. Like my tomatoes and one thing or the other, I'll probably bury PVC in the dirt and let them water in the dirt. I know we don't want water on the leaves of the tomatoes. I know that. Uh, I'm really piped about this. We have a very short window to get this done. Uh, very short. I can't take much more time. Uh, I've got sauce to go. I've got other things that need to be done, really desperately need to be done. Uh, spring was upon us before I knew it. And I'm hustling. We're working seven days a week, Colin and I are. Colin's like, oh man, it's not that bad. But we like groceries, don't we? You gotta have them vittles. <laughs> you gotta get them vittles. The way we're going to get them, I'm, I'm afraid, come mid-summer, summer is going to be uh, pulling them out of your garden. Uh, I have a feeling that some stuff you might not find is at the price you want to buy it at. We can't afford any more financial loan. It just isn't going to happen. Uh, let's say that was a complete waste of time. We didn't need to do this because you can buy everything at the store. Guess what? I'd still do it this year. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time anyway. The more I can grow for myself with the minimum time invested is the same. That savings is like making money. The more you save, the more it's like making money. And uh, I, quite honestly, some things I'm getting tired of right out of the store. I really am. Uh, the flavor just isn't there. But I'd like to try some celery. We had a lady that used to grow celery, but I tried twice so far and it didn't work out. If you guys know a celery trick, tell me. Uh, couldn't have much, but I could go do a little bit here and there. Uh, the old horses have had their uh, supper, I see. Looks like I might have to go fail A in the morning. We've had, if you didn't know this, we've had nothing but rain. Okay, what I'm doing that with this project, with the greenhouse, I'm going to share everything that went wrong. Everything that went right, what I personally think could have been better, what grew good in here and what didn't. So periodically, in between saw building, once we have the gardens in and this greenhouse running it isn't going to take me very long where we're burning it up I mean we're going to fly it I'm going to share it with you everything in between saw builds Heck, we might even run a build do a saw build in the greenhouse who knows I can't wait to get back to them um, we did I think work out a shipping problem so guys good luck yep going to take a couple days to get one saw out. Once that works, we'll do more. But i got to build more. I thank you for your patience and your understanding. Hopefully we got your understanding and your patience. But in these times, this channel isn't going to be about just one thing. Um, the whole world changed for me on what I was going to put up. It really did. I planned on, I was going to do just a small garden, which meant Cohen and Barb could handle it. 
and I didn't have to mess with it. You just keep right on building saws. And maybe like every other weekend, I wanted to uh, do some dirt biking or, or go do something, go hiking, go be out in the woods. This is the kind of stuff I wanted to do. But I had to do this. I, I felt the need, I felt the panic. You ever get them times when you can't sleep and you don't know what's bothering you? And then when you figure it out, all of a sudden from then on, you're sleeping good? Yeah, one of them moments right there. There's been so many kind words said in that last video. I thank you guys so much. Uh, I think tomorrow we'll have a lot of this plastic on. And if that works, that means we're rainproof. That means I can back my old one ton right up here and we can build some boxes. I got some pile holes to fill. I, I don't think this is all we're doing. Uh, do give me ideas, people, what really is uh, good in greenhouses. I know carrots are a bad idea, peas, stuff like that. I'm not doing them. Uh, we got places for them. So until next time, I thank you for being here. Goodbye.